Shouts out to the Patreon commenters who let me know why Kageyama was kind of still questioning or it's still in his head the Goody Two Shoes comment from Matsumo. Um, because as he was going from junior high to high school, he was super humbled in, in terms of him being the tyrant king and criticizing everyone all the time to now he only ever really cr truly criticizes Hinata, but that's because they have a special kind of relationship. So if anyone else, if anything goes wrong or if the point doesn't kind of happen, he kind of just internalizes it himself, internalizes it and kind of blames himself and says, oh, it's something that he should work on. Whereas Atsumo, for example, says if you can't hit his spike, then you just suck. He knows he's good. So he, it's a different mindset going into it. And I, I am really looking forward to how that's going to, change Kageyama or only make him I, I don't know how it's going to affect him and I'm super curious what's up Dapper Squad it's your boy Darius back at it again with Haikyuu season 4 episode 7 this one's called Return last episode we were going against Date Kogio we we're kind of struggling to get over the wall because they've only improved it and they're already one of the best teams defense wise and so we're just trying to see if we can overwhelm them, keep attacking, but I just keep noticing at the end when Kagayama told Nishinoya to move or you're in the way, and he was like, huh? It's like it had to have been a direct reference to Komori, because even Asahi is right behind him, so he could have come in for the uh, back attack, but Nishinoya is in the way. So I'm definitely curious on where, on how this is going to play, because I do think Kagayama is in the right, but it came off a little strong, especially because he's not the type to criticize, so I don't know how they're going to take it. I'm just i say we just get it right on this episode remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows like jujutsu kaisen black clover and many many more to come in the future we are four episodes ahead currently on patreon those links are always in the description for you guys if you guys want to check them out if you guys want to support me patreon is not really your thing if you could just leave a like and a comment on the video it really does help me with the youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed and click that bell so you guys always know exactly when i post and then don't forget to follow me on all my social medias instagram twitch and twitter at dapper Dare thank you so much uh Q episode seven of season four called return let's do it ishinoya had the amazing rolling thunder which is still amazing but playing with national level players komori would have immediately got out of the way right there yeah because look at asahi he he can't move he's kind of stuck He's, he's playing it back in his head. He's like, oh shit, I actually was. And okay. Wow. Look at my man taking criticism. You love to see it. That's national level awareness right there. <laughs> yeah, right? I am too. But introspection is always really needed and key. He did, exactly. He could have said it a different way. A little bit. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Nice. And I... Okay. Okay. So, Tsukushima can tell something's up with Kageyama, and Kageyama is wondering why Tsukushima is not jumping higher like he not to point it out. He's like, Kokonagawa got you to jump higher. Why do you not jump as high when Kageyama sets it to you? So, it goes back to him being a goody two-shoes and not drawing out the best because of something he's doing versus something. You know, I'm curious. If you got something to say, just say it, Kage. Oh, and no, he doesn't. <laughs> Let's go, Dazeko. Who's here? Oh, the old third years. I remember them. They were super cool. <laughs> they were the ones who originally were there in the stands when we first got introduced to Kogunagawa. They're going to be the... Oh, they had to bring the banner. The impregnable, the impregnable wall. Go, go, let's go, let's go, Dazeko! That wall is very impregnable, though. We are a little off our game, but don't worry. Something's gonna twist in us. Ooh. Nice little, nice little lag. These are like the old Tsukushima insults. I I miss those back in the day. <laughs> oh, 
Damn. Damn. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm literally like them. I'm kind of taken back that he just said that. Oh my lord. <laughs> Kageyama's got some balls on him. Oh my god. He is very frustrated right now. Tsukushima is the only one not really surprised. Oh no. That is exactly how he used to talk to. Did it so much that cut him so far from the team. You know, they stopped following him. I love how the cam's like shaky when he's doing this. His world's like... That's a very mature way of looking at it. A lot of people can't see it like that, but I like it. <laughs> also, he's such a good dude, bro. How are you ever mean to this guy? So he's not going to be exactly the non-criticizing Kageyama. He's not going to be King Kageyama either. Are we going to find like a good mix? Of communicating when we need to, but fighting when we need to. True. <laughs> Except for Hinata. <laughs> Hinata will say whatever's on his mind. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we have someone. So it's just being more comfortable with your teammates to be able to say whatever's on your mind, whatever, you know. Is he experimenting to force Tsukushima to get higher? And Tsukushima said that little. Ooh. 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 He's gonna... <laughs> He's gonna force you to come up. Oh, he definitely does. His team leaving him. You know. Oh yeah, huge weight on his shoulders. Now we're going to get a re-going with Tsukushima. He jumped, he used all of that spring in his legs. He's going up, up. Yep. Nice. I like that. Like a good mix, you know. He's not going to do everything that he needs. I mean, I'll, I'll talk about it later. Yep, we're getting there. We'll get there. That shit will be nailed down soon. They won the whole game. That's fine. It's a practice match. <laughs> He's happy. Hell yeah. So you can fly. <laughs> He's doing an impression. <laughs> That's so funny. I remember that when he when he was saying how the ace is always the coolest, yeah. <laughs> he made a little towel towel crown. From this day on, you shall be known as the new king. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, that is a cool transition. The crows with the king of the dumpster court. The transitions where they show these little backdrops in the in the court or in the dumpster are always amazing. Where they're showing with like wings and shit. Oh, 
<laughs> that means physically and mentally. I like that. Look at that. That's the boys. <laughs> Sukushima's my guy. Nice. Hell yeah. First time we've had a lead in a while. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hinata grew mentally. Kageyama's growing mentally. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's actually saying what's on his mind. Wow. <laughs> yes, best intentions. I get it, I do, but... <sighs> I love the honesty now. Nonchalantly, how do we do that? <laughs> He's taking that seriously. Okay, I like that from Asi. Say it to me. That's what I'm saying, and it's not just physical. It's the way they think about the game, their mindset, the way they give criticism, all that. So much goes into a comp competitive sport, you know? Oh yeah, gotta admire it. <laughs> Especially from Yamaguchi, who loves to serve. Utakuchi. Yeah, he'll be unfucking beatable. <laughs> I'm saying. That is the a really good combo. Amazing serve with an amazing block. <laughs> I love that foreshadowing. Date Kogyo. Oh, is that the end? That was a fucking boss ass episode. So I, I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. I really like the fact that because of how, because of what happened and how much it weighs on Kageyama of him constantly criticizing his junior high teammates that he doesn't, he feels like he doesn't want to do that. And he'll just, he, he kind of would fit himself to form to their bad habits instead of telling them what they need to improve on to make sure that it works out best. He was playing to, he was trying to be 110% to match their 70% instead of increasing them to 100% and him keeping it, you know, it's just like, it, it makes a lot of sense. And he needed the balls, he, he got super frustrated and then we had to have a, a sit down kind of conversation, which it worked out. Whereas not only is he able to give criticism to everyone else now, but they're also able to give criticism back because he's this kind of perfect setter. So it's kind of like, where do you ever nitpick him? You know, he's like amazing. So it's like I, I, both sides both had some mindset evolutions that happened this episode and thoroughly enjoyed thoroughly needed you know really did enjoy that um super excited for uh, the future of not only like practice with nationals with everything but like next year like I mean, he's not wrong like they have such a great defense Date Kogio and then with and I love their third years their ex third years coming in to say what's going on you know now that we have Futakuchi being the leader and Aone being that wall Koganegawa being a, a new blood you know like they really could be national level amazingness couple, you know a year down the line when I think Futakuchi's a second year right when he becomes a third year stuff like that you know just I'm super excited. I'm super excited. So I'm going to find out what happens in this next practice match. But that was just super fun. Enjoy a thoroughly enjoyable episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, check out that Patreon. Links are always down below. Like always. Uh, let me see if I have any questions here on the Discord. If you guys don't know, we have a, a Q&A section on the Discord where you guys can ask me anything you guys want. No questions here. Make sure to check out that Discord. Follow me on all my social medias. Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter. at I'll see you in this next episode, guys. Peace out.